This is a question from one of my favorite students in China. I don't know how to use an American dictionary. I don't know what it is like. Can you take a picture of your American dictionary? Okay, so that's a very good question. He wants to, then he will go to be reading it and he thinks he can do better. He's heard that there's an American dictionary without the IPA symbols. And he's going to teach me what KK is. So here's an American dictionary. You open it up, it says, wow, it's the college edition. Well, that's pretty good. Here's my favorite tie. It shows the oppression that my people went through 1,000 years ago. We look at the pronunciation key. Now let's look very carefully. There's IPA, and they put a little symbol over, like pat or cat. That little symbol is a short A. Now in US, we do something like this. And that shows the short A. This we could say long A short and long. See, like pay turns into this symbol. That will be pay. Okay, so we might write it P A. That's pay. But pat will be written like this. See, that's pat. So, why don't we go look it up? After all, that's what he wanted. He wanted to be able to see what does it look like. So let's look up pay, and we should be able to see exactly what he was talking about. Let's get in there. See, there it is. P A. And then he said something about pat, so let's look at the pat. The pat should have that other. Come on. P-A-T. There it is. Right there. P-A-T. Now, there are various different ways of looking at pronunciation systems. This comes from Wikipedia Pronunciation Respelling for English. Go to the top. That's exactly what it says. Pronunciation respelling for English. If you go to the bottom here. Oh, there's oh, there's the K and K. Interesting. It says K and K. All right. Good old Wikipedia. They're going to explain it. K and K. Oh, it's Kenyan, and not. Very nice. K and K. Well, they. K and K has this silly up symbol. And I'll tell you what. I'm going to go with NBC. That is a national broadcasting co corporation. And they go A ah, that way and A ah, that way. Do you see how they do it? I like their system. Because for U.S. speakers, we know that A-Y is going to be A. And let's see. Oh, that's E. We don't use a silly symbol like this. No, 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 no. This is E. And then there's that long symbol also. So, NBC. This is a very good... It, it's strange, that I-G-H, but that would be I, like Psy. That's the way people do it. So my favorite student, and very good student, thank you for this excellent question about how does an American dictionary look, and then how do they use their pronunciation system? They don't use IPA. U.S. people don't learn IPA. We, <laughs> we don't use Celsius, meters, liters. We use Fahrenheit gallons, and feet. Now, 
here are some other things we use, you know, guide to pronunciation. Wow, wouldn't you know? <laughs> guide to punctuation, punctuation. Grammar guide, grammar for journalists. Synonyms. I don't like this one. I like the Rodale's synonym, in, synonym finder. This guy died, unfortunately, but he wrote, he was a publisher, and he came up with very good, well, let's have a look. Very good system.